Now, the state has made a claim. It's by the confession that we admitted in a court of law. Tanzi voluntarily made the confession without duress in a sober state of mind, so they say, without being pressured. He then implicated certain people in his confession that he said he was scared of. For example, he said he was scared of Unduli because he was threatening him. That was said in the court of law, guys. I think and I pray all of you have watched and listened to that. Okay. So if Untanzi really, really was the one who admitted to those statements, what measures did the state took to protect Untanzi against the people he feared? That's the first question that people are asking out there. Jengo Obese Pendu Kufagazwaboke, so she's more like a state witness, right? Why state didn't use any touristic measures to protect Untanzi as a state witness? Mabeti, he confessed voluntarily so. And the people out there need a clarification of the weapon that was used to murder our sons of Mehua. It is said that there are two different kinds in the statement. Abu Zandi says it was a revolver. A revolver, uh, you don't pull any trigger. You, I mean, you don't, you know, cock against these guys. I don't know I mean. You, 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 they, you just pull the trigger and shot. And we statement so Kininda, it's a nine millimeter. So which gun has been said to be the one? that killed Usenzo, we, we, which gun, according to the court, was used. We, we need to know that as the people who are in favor of justice for sons of Mehiwa and the five wrongfully accused, we actually need to know and understand what, what, which exact gun was used. Now, the other question that I have in mind is there are two dockets. This case 636 and case 375. What made the court of law agree to 636 and not 375? Why was case 375 declined and not implemented and they chose to implement 636? What is it that they saw in 375 that they don't want it to be revealed a court? Like, we, we have to ask such questions, guys. We have to understand why was 375 denied in the court of law? Those are questions that people are asking out there. So, in the confessions of Abundance, or in what Kenida said, they were sent by Ukele. Where is Ukele a court? But we need Ukele to be accused number six of the court. Where is she? Why is the warrant of arrest not granted for her? So, if Ujaj says, what is said in the confession, only implement those in the confession, why, are they, uh, why is 3, 4, and 5 there in court? Because in my confessions, I've known 1 and 2. If they are doing this case in a lawful way or in a right way. Two dockets, different confessions, they pick 636. Three, why? Like, we need to know what, it, what made them feel like 636 six is the correct docket to be in court because we are really really confused since they are two dockets what made them choose 636 we need we need to understand that and honestly guys the judge is not fair when it comes to a defense i don't care if this comes out bad or what but it is what it is the judge is so rude when it comes to a defense yet he's smiling and in favor of state we one we're not happy with the ruling in fact let me say people are not happy I, mean, I am happy with the ruling because if the ruling was in favor of the state i'm happy with the ruling so this uh, was to contradict those who were in the house we happy with the ruling so what i need to understand Uguti, what made them choose case 636 and not 375? No. 
and then come and to Brigadier, Mr. Writer or Director or Mr. Everything on the case. It is said that he's working on a cold case unit. What makes him to be working in the sense of maybe one made a trial? Whereas there are suspects in the case. And there are suspects on the docket that is with oh, Mr. Makubo, Warrant Officer Makubo, and Colonel Jones Bittelis. Because Okinina himself said the cold cases are cases that have been filed on the archives. How can a case that is running or that has got suspect be on the archives? So this case was not filed, according to him explaining the cold case. Why did he take it as a cold case? I want to find where as brigadier. We need to know. First question is why they agreed to case six three six instead of three seven five, because there are two dockets with all oh, advocates Baloi. He no Baloi have filed six three six in court. The experts of the law are sharing their opinion regarding the court proceedings, and. We not um certain with the treatment of Uchash Rata towards the defense. He is sweet when dealing with the state. We, 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 we can't hide that. Because the evidence in court at the moment is contentious. That we cannot argue. I mean, the witnesses of Ubaloi or the state are contradicting each other. They are saying the total opposite of everything, guys. I mean, like, none of the people are like, so I wonder what Mrs. M. Gabutim, you don't care about them. But I'm talking with a person on the sober mind right now who can tell what everything that is going on in that court is, 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 is so not making any sense. Is it possible for a judicial tribunal or here I get to intervene? Or do we have an independent judicial? Or a judicial board where we can raise our issues of this judge. Guys, guys, I'm now one lie and hide it. Our judge is biased and I'm not happy with his behavior. Yes, they might say only 50 years experience, but everyone has got a prize in this case. I've been saying this and I keep on saying it. If need be, I'll say it on every video that I upload and publish. Everyone in this case has got their prize. So what will stop the judge? from having or receiving his brown envelope. Guys, like, I, it's, 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 it's not making any sense when the ANZ got a court. It's just not making any sense. Who, who is scrutinizing or uh, who is conducting the performance of the judge? Like, who is minding the judge's performance in every level in that court? Because what is happening in court, I don't know what to call it. Witnesses contradicting each other, saying different things. That alone is a problem. For example, if DNA didn't involve or link Abu Dhan and the other four. It, it's, it's totally different. It's, it's not linking any of the five accused in this case. There, there is no watertight or solid or concrete evidence linking the five accused to the murderer of Usenzo. So please, please, can the judge do the right thing? Can Abu Kininda have Ubuntu, that humanity in them, Naboba Lui, and do the right thing? Because they know what they're doing is actually wrong. Totally wrong. Those five guys are innocent in the murder of Usain. So, I mean, all I'm saying is, I will release and dance and acquit the other four and let them continue. I'm going to piece on the movie. I'm going to appeal to you. Then we will see how high justice is here too. Or judicial system is not corrupt. And when I can tell you this under Utele, higher C now. Under ANC, 
I see you now. I mean, I'm in no favor of any political party, guys. I'm not into politics. I don't, I, I'm in no favor of any political party. But under the supervision or under the Democracy ANC, a lot of people will be arrested for things they didn't do just because they are protecting their mafias. So, guys, let's do the right thing. Let's vote for the right party now. I can't have a MKV, not sure. It is an I mean, I guys, I'd rather vote for ETS. We sell them a boon bet to apartheid. It was okay that time the law was going the right way, not with our ANC. So, guys, keep on subscribing for my 